Thank you. As crews continue to clear the roads, the frigid temperatures aren't making it any easier. That's because salt is not as effective in the freezing cold. Meteorologist Michael Barons explains, and here's why. Here's why with Michael, sponsored by the Bugs Exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. The cold air that's arrived in West Michigan takes us into our Here's Why segment where we're going to take a look at why salt won't actually work in these cold conditions. First, understand when water is in its liquid state like rain, the molecules are actually pretty loosely packed. However, when water reaches the freezing point, 32 degrees or below, those molecules become packed more tightly. On roads, this can cause big problems. Wet, icy and slushy roads reduce traction between your car's tires and the road surface. So if you hit ice, your car could suddenly go into a skid, which is a scary situation for sure. That's why we need to break up these molecules in order to limit the slush and ice on the roads. To do that, we usually add salt or a brine solution. This is not actually melting the ice with increased heat. What it is doing, though, is bringing the freezing point of water to a lower temperature. Now, at the molecular level, what the salt molecules are actually doing is getting in the way of the bonding water molecules, helping it not to freeze regular freezing point of water, well, that sits at 32 degrees. Adding some sodium chloride, where's the freezing point to just 15? With temperatures that have already gone negative here this weekend and into the start of the week, it's no surprise that salt is not going to be very effective in the days ahead.